Number one, what type of study would you conduct if you wanted to know how many hours a week on average students at your school study? Um, and so for this one, I would say um, probably experimental or a survey, I mean. Um, so just ask, just ask students how long they study. And the reason that I would do that is because observing them studying would be really hard. So it'd be really hard to just watch somebody for a 24 hour period or a week long period to see how many times, how much they study. And an experimental study is unnecessary since we aren't looking at um, how one thing impacts another. You're just wanting to see how many times do, how much do people study in the week. Number two, select all designs which describe an observational study that is not a survey. Remember, observational does not impact or influence the outcome, okay? And, um, and a survey would ask questions. So we're looking for something that doesn't influence the outcome and isn't asking a question. So 200 voters are randomly selected and asked how they'll vote. So that's wrong because that's a survey. B, 60 pieces of lumber are randomly selected. Half of those are randomly assigned to be treated. And three months later, the level of rotting in all pieces is recorded. So this is experimental because they're treating half of them to influence and see if that influences the outcome, okay? So then that's experimental, not observational. 100 pregnant women are randomly selected for eight weeks. The level of iron in their blood and their vital signs are recorded. This is observational. Okay, nothing changing between the in the women. They're not being separated into different groups and looking at an influence and they're not being asked anything, just recording their information. 400 incoming sixth grader, sixth grade students are randomly selected. Re researchers record the results of their reading tests at the beginning and end of the school year and compare. So this one is going to be observational, not splitting them, just um, recording scores. 300 ap people apply to test a new mattress. 100 of these customers are selected randomly to receive a new mattress. Others are given an older version. So now we're changing something to influence, to see if it influences the outcome. So that's experimental. Number three, in an observational study, it was noticed that people eat more, who eat more chocolate tend to have better blood flow than the general population. Researchers wonder whether the improved blood flow might be ca caused by flavanols, a molecule found in many food. Dark chocolate has a high concentration of them, milk chocolate lower. How could the researcher design an experiment to check if, that, if the flavanol um, affects the blood flow? So for this one, um, you could randomly select people split them into um, two groups, have each group eat a certain amount, so the same amount as each other, a certain amount of um, chocolate. So one group dark chocolate, one group milk chocolate. Then after a certain time, check blood flow levels to see if it impacted it. Number four, what is one major difference between an observational study and an experimental study? So um, the major difference is that experimental, you change one condition to see if it influences the outcome. Where observational, um, you just record, um, you don't directly influence the outcomes. You're just observing a thing to see 
what's happening versus experimental, you're actually changing a condition so you can impact, see if it has an impact. Tyler's interested in how different environments affect dandelions. For a science fair project, Tyler looks for dandelions growing in the grass and growing in the dirt without grass. He counts the number of days it takes each dandelion to turn from a yellow flower into seeds. After six weeks, he compares the number of days that it takes each of the two sets of dandelions um, to turn into seeds. So what type of study is he doing? So uh, um, experimental because he's looking at two different things and seeing if it impacts the outcome. So he's looking at grass versus no grass. And how could um, he improve the design um, of his study? So he could make sure other growing conditions are identical. So for instance, like the sunlight, temperature, um, food, etc. Instead of them just growing in different parts of the city could have, you know, the sun or the shade could be impacting it too. So making sure the other conditions are identical so that you can see if it's really the grass um, versus no grass. For physics class, Jada wants to know how the surface of different ramps affects the maximum speed of a marble being rolled down a ramp. To study this, she compares the maximum speed of a marble rolled down ramps with different surfaces. She rolls the same marble down each type of ramp 10 times. What type of study is this? And this is experimental since um, there's you're changing a condition. So you're changing the condition of the ramp surface. So experimental.